The contestant who picks it first could win a holiday for two in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Which star is it? Roz Kelly. <laughs> Charlie Callis. <laughs> Rosemary. Peter Graves. Doc Severinsen. Damond Wilson. Bonnie Franklin. George Goebel or Paul Lind, all in the Hollywood Squares. And here is the master of the Hollywood Squares, Peter Marshall. Oh, thank you, Kenneth, and a good evening. Welcome to the Hollywood Squares. Hello, stars. We are welcoming a, a teacher. What do you teach? I teach primary school. Yeah? So. You're a beautiful young lady. Thank this you. is Ruth Crudup. Nice to have you on the show. Thank you. Good luck this evening. Thank you. Have a handsome gentleman who's a medical salesperson married to a flight attendant, Frank uh, Matra. Hiya, Correct. Frank. Nice to see you. Good luck to you. Thank you. Cheers. We're going to have a commercial word. We'll return and have some fun right after this. The object for the players is to get three stars in a row, either across a banana diagonally. It is up to them to figure out if a star is giving you a correct answer or making one up. That's where they get the squares. Each completed game is worth $250. In addition, in the first three games, they vie for a secret square. We're going to start with one worth about $3,500. Ken? And X stars this first secret square. Will Jetcher from Los Angeles to a deluxe condominium suite at Posada Vallarta in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, with exclusive beaches and swimming pools, authentic Mexican colonial style and native entertainment, add to the fine service at Posada Vallarta, plus a beautiful assortment of jewelry in the golden manner of Monet, designed and crafted by Monet, master jeweler, Pack up a $500 assortment of Ditto's tops and jeans. You'll feel the fit because every pair is hand-measured. Side saddle pants, high-rises, pre-washed denims furnished by Ditto's. Plus, dentine. You'll taste the difference with dentine. It has a snappy, tingly flavor all its own. Dentine makes your mouth taste clean, not sweet. And for traveling, Skyway's new great idea. Skyway outdoor twist luggage on wheels. Pull, don't carry your luggage. For easy traveling on wheels, furnished by Skyway. And a GAF 505 XL Super 8 sound movie camera with five times power zoom lens and automatic exposure and a GAF 3100 SC. Super 8 sound movie projector with sound recording features. Okay, Peter. Hey, Kenny, let's show the home audience to Secret Square. As you know, the stars are brief before the show to help them with the bluffs, but they are hearing the actual questions for the first time. Frank won the toss. Good luck, my friend. Pick a star. Damon Wilson. That's it. <laughs> first question, Frank, would be worth $3,500 special envelope. D, good luck on this, both of you. In the movie, who was Daddy Longlegs? In the movie, Daddy Longlegs. Uh, Cary Grant. Uh, no, we have uh, we have a multiple choice, oh. and, he, and he is not among them, by the way. Uh, <laughs> we have we do have Ray Bolger, and we do have Fred Astaire, and we have Gene Kelly. Okay, Fred Astaire. Fred Astaire. I agree. Uh, Fred Astaire. <laughs> Thank you, Demond. Thank you very much. Beautiful. Thank you. Great. You're going to Puerto Vallarta, yeah. and uh, you'll say hello to our friend down there, Sonia Gershenson. He'll treat you really well. And you have the jeans, the luggage, and the sound movie camera, 3500 bucks. Not bad for a start. Right now, Ruth Ann. Ross yeah. Kelly. All righty. Ross, hey, you look terrific. I love that outfit. Would you stand up and show everybody that? Sure, honey. Boy, I bet you the, the Fonz likes that, huh? That looks terrific. Hey, hey. In the nursery rhymes, oh, nurse what did the rhymes. old woman do? after she whipped the children. Uh, oh, uh, <laughs> what are you, uh, never mind. She, uh, <laughs> she whipped the children and, uh, well, naturally she put them to bed. She sent them to bed, she Ruth Ann. I agree. That's what she did. <laughs> hey, with a circle. Okay, thanks. Peter Grace. Pete, good to see you, my friend. You too. Robert J. Oppenheimer became famous in the 1940s as the man who built the what? Uh, uh, gee, I didn't think it was Oppenheimer. Yes, uh, well, it had to be that he, then he built the first uh, nuclear reactor. I disagree. Uh, not the nuclear reactor. We were looking for the atom bomb, and we cannot accept that. Only the atom bomb we could accept, and we'll put an X there. All right, Ruth Ann, your turn. Doc, Se Doc Severson, the block. Hey, the good doctor's with us once again. How are you doing, Peter? Oh, I'm doing fine. On what, uh, oh, with you so musical. I know, I, you've got to know this. What famous song was written to the tune of John Brown's Body? I think this is uh, the Stump the Band here. <laughs> um, Very famous song written to the tune of John Brown's Body. You should ask a musician a question That's like right, that, right? Guy. Tammy? <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. I don't know. You don't know? I'll have the question to Ruth Ann. 
No, thank you. Really? I, I knew that. The Do Battle you know? Hymn of the Republic. No. Yeah. Well. <laughs> da, 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 dun, da, dun. Oh, no, I'll get so religious. Hey, according to Shakespeare, what is the food of love? The food of love. Spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> That's if you, if you know how to work it. <laughs> the food of love is wine. Wine. I agree. Music. Uh, oh. Can't put it next to there, Frank. You'll have to earn that yourself. Oh. Doc Severinsen. Doctor, for $250. I'd like to go out and start over again. <laughs> no, it's too late. According to experts, Queen Elizabeth has become very economy-minded. This is true. She's become very economy-minded. Uh, about something that she never had been before. I, I read about this in the paper, and I know the answer to it. It has to do with uh, alcoholic spirits. Uh, she's cut down I on disagree. that. I <laughs> disagree. What is it? Do you have any idea? It must be her horses or something. No, like it's her clothes. Her According clothes. to her fashion designer, Ian Thomas, she's still wearing three-year-old garments, and it certainly looks like it. <laughs> yeah, okay, you got yourself 250 bucks. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Boy, will I get letters on that. You see, I'm trying to get some mail. <laughs> Make the networks feel excited about me. Woo, I'll get it on that. All those Canadian friends of mine. All right, we're going to have another Secret Square, and Kenny, to tell us about that. And this time, Circle starts the Secret Square for Chrome Crafts El Dorado Dining Set. Dining elegance with elliptical chrome tubing, clear glass, wood laminates, and rich upholstery. The El Dorado Dining Set by Chrome Craft. And for the table, town and country tableware by Washington Forge. Beautiful feet, wood handles, and the service for eight knives are hollow ground for serrated edges. Quality stainless by Washington Forge. Plus, a complete cooking center from Tappan. Microwave oven on top, self-cleaning electric oven below. See-through tempered glass windows, one-piece ceramic top furnished by Tappan. And Maggi, one of the world's most popular bouillons for soups, stews, and casseroles, and even drinking. Take a Maggi bouillon break today and relax and enjoy a 25-inch color television set from True Value Hardware Stores to combine value and personal service in over 5,000 locations. A color console furnished by True Value Hardware. That's it, Peter. Let's show the home is to Super Square and Ruth and... Crude up. We'll start this game. Good luck, dear. Come on. Thank you. George Goebel. Uh, according to the People's Almanac, what do we call it when one person is engaged in kissing, fondling, and caressing with another person? In show business, we call it an interview. <laughs> there we go. Uh, when one person is engaged... In kissing, fondling, and caressing, uh, according to the People's Almanac. Uh, well, we used to call it necking when I was a kid, but I suppose I got a different name for it now. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know what they call it now. Uh, would you like the question, Ruthann? No, thank you. You know what they call it, George? No. Necking. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Back to a global question here. A woman's patellas are almost touching, but her tibia are fairly far apart. What's her problem? Well, maybe she's nursed 17 children. <laughs> A woman's patellas are almost touching, but her tibia are fairly far apart. What is the lady's problem? She's bow-legged. She's bow-legged. I agree. Uh, no. Uh -huh. She's knock-kneed. You see, the, uh -huh. uh, the patellas are almost touching and the tibia, yeah. Okay, put an X there. Uh, Frank? Charlie Callis. That's the secret square, Frank. Okay, this would give you an additional $2,700. Charlie, Ernest Hemingway won the Pulitzer Prize for one of these novels. Was it The Sun Also Rises, For Whom the Bell Tolls, or The Old Man in the Sea? The Old Man in the Sea. The Old Man in the Sea. Let's go with Charlie Callis. He's right. You've got the X. Very good. Thank you, Charlie. Oh. Terrific. Dining room set, range, color TV. Let me see now. you got three, four, five. Five over six thousand bucks already won. We have a commercial to pay this fella right here, Frank. I mean, you've cost us a bundle. We'll be back after this. Roz Kelly. Hey. <laughs> All right, Roz, uh, your yes. gums. My are, gums. Yeah, they're pink. What's the matter? They're pink. What's the matter? Yeah. <laughs> too much motorcycle dust. <laughs> no, that won't do. Ah, uh, they're pink. I'm about to die. 
Ruthann? I disagree. According to experts, that's what color healthy gums should be. You've got nice, right, healthy, healthy gums. gums. Yes, sure. What a shirt. Right, your turn. Peter Grace. According to surveys, what does the average driver worry about most while driving down the highway? Uh, ooh. Yeah, say that again, would you please, yeah. Peter? Yeah, when drivers drive down the highway, what, uh, what do they worry about the most? Uh, hitting another car. Hitting another say. car. I disagree. No, they're tires. They're tires. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, the next, uh, Ruth Ann? Uh, Paul Lynn to block. Paul. Paul, uh, true or false? It is almost impossible to tell a male hyena from a female. Well, there's always trial and error. <laughs> <laughs> Almost impossible to tell a male from a female hyena. True or false? Well, um, the fact you ask, I'm probably it's uh, it's almost impossible. I disagree. It is true. Can't put it next to Frank. Um, You'll have to earn that yourself. So uh, let's go with uh, Rosemary. I don't blame you. Uh, Rose for five hundred dollars. What? According to the book Wives Legal Rights, can mink coat be considered a necessity of life? Yeah, I think it is to another mink. <laughs> but can a mink coat be considered a necessity of life? I, I think in certain walks of life, I, I think it is. I think it's a status or status symbol, whichever you prefer. I agree. You know, if a husband's income is very high, it is considered a necessity of life. Interesting. You got yourself 500 bucks, right? Great. Thank you, Rose. Okay. We're going right now to the third Secret Square. It's worth $3,800, the biggie of the night. Ken? And X stars at Secret Square. For family room fun, here's your introduction to real excitement and fun. It's the concaper organ. With just two fingers, you can perform like a pro, valued over $1,100. And relax in new Lazy Boy recliners. Can be placed one inch from the wall. You can recline to any position with a footrest up or down, furnished by Lazy Boy. And for your floors, at Walter Carpet. Striking attraction pattern, featuring durable bandolon quality, dense Saxony nylon, and new brush stroke design for elegant homes, Walter Carpets. And if you just finish a search, don't worry, search last Keeps on freshening your breath and cooling your taste even after the candy's gone. And for enjoyment from Radio Shack, this $1,000 superpower stereo system featuring famous realistic brand components, receiver, automatic turntable, a massive Mac 1 speaker, furnished by Radio Shack. Okay, Peter. Let's go to home viewers the Secret Square and Frank Metro. Pick a star. Let's go with Rosemary. Oh, thank you. According to a nationwide poll, whom do more Americans say they trust more? Garbage collectors or doctors? <laughs> How can you put those two together? Well, I guess because they both remove things, yeah. Uh, <laughs> garbage collect. Who they trust? Doctors or garbage collectors? Oh, that's ridiculous. It's got to be doctors, for goodness sake. I'm going to disagree. It is doctors. It is One doctors. of our tricks. We got you, Frank. Put a second there. Ruth Annabelle, to you. Peter Gray. Peter, on a recent episode of a popular television show, listen, Anne worried about her daughter's whereabouts while super stud Schneider coordinated the search, and Julie and her boyfriend were victimized by two transients. What's the show? <laughs> yeah, one show. I, ooh, I'll say, um, as the world turns. As the world turns. I, dis I disagree. Do you have any idea what it might be? One day at a time. Hey, yeah, Bonnie Franklin, how about that? Very good. Put a circle there, Frank. Uh, Charlie Callis, please. Charlie, what is a soldier referring to when he mentions fruit salad? Fruit salad. Well, first of all, <laughs> just let me say that war is hell. <laughs> Could you repeat that, please? Sure. Okay. So, he's referring to uh, fruit salad. What does he mean? He means the epaulets, all the all the the, the, in the the gold on the braid, the epaulets, the things on the yes, the, the medals, salad, Sa medals, medals. Sa wait a minute, fruit salad. <laughs> yes, medals. Sa medals. It Damn. is the medals on the chest. It is the medals on the chest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got decorations. Okay, what well, the next? Ruth Ann, your turn. Demond Wilson. D. Uh, Demond, are, are you listening? Oh. Yeah. Yes, it's wonderful uh, to be here again. Homo sum is a famous Latin phrase meaning I am a. <laughs> <laughs> Homo what? Sum, S U M. Homo well, sum is a famous see, Latin phrase meaning I am a. I don't. I have no idea. The black the man. To we can't relate to that. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. You don't want it. I am a man. A man. Back to the Demond Wilson question. 
Is it ever possible for a kiss to make your hair stand on end? A kiss. <laughs> <laughs> yes or no? Uh, it depends on how you feel about whoever kissed you. Well, I mean, if you feel, to, whatever the, the case, is it ever possible for, uh, for hair to stand on end? Of course, if you have yeah. an afro. He said, yeah. <laughs> With that? I disagree. Oh, yeah. If one of the kissers has enough static electricity, you can go, whoa, whoa. We have a commercial. Put it next to it. We'll be back. You win with Paul. That's obvious, but it's a secret square game. You'll have to make your own decision. I'm going to look for a secret square. Let's try Roz Kelly. And that's it. <laughs> Got a gambler man here. Oh, Frank Metra. Him. Here we go for $3,800, Roz. Well, how, 30 Who was the last? Who was the last of Henry VIII's six wives? The last one. Catherine Parr, Catherine of Aragon, or Anne Boleyn? Uh, Annie. Anne Boleyn. Annie. I disagree. It was Catherine Parr. You won yourself some, uh, some loot here. You know, Frank, it's rare when uh, one person wins all three secret squares. You've done it here tonight. $6,200 plus six, seven, eight, nine, over $10,000 just in secret squares. You've got the organ, you, the lounges, Roz. the carpeting, and the stereo. And now it's the matter of money, and Ruth Ann, win some cash, dear. George Goebel. Say, George, in the Bible, did Adam have any alcohol to drink? Uh, yes, I think they had alcohol in there. Ruthann? Could you please repeat Yeah, the in the Bible, did Adam ha have any alcohol to drink? George said yes. I disagree. Uh, no, just water, George. Yeah. Okay, put a circle there. Frank, it's your turn. Paul in the win. Paul for $750. Bing Crosby. The old bingo recently found himself stranded in the basement of an old hotel in La Paz, Mexico. He was trying to avoid something. What, Bing Crosby? Uh, uh paying duty on his hair. <laughs> <laughs> you know that Kat, uh, Catherine and Kathy, and, and they watched the show. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, what was he trying to avoid? Bing Crosby. Stranded in the basement of an old hotel in La Paz. What was he trying to avoid? Yeah. Stranded. Yeah. Well, if you're stranded, why, you're not avoiding anything. Wait a minute. Uh, what was he trying to avoid? Stranded in a hotel? In La Paz, in La Paz. Mexico, recently. Oh, well, some, some um, months ago. What was he trying to avoid? I don't think Paul has a bluff for this. No, Would I, you like the question? I don't want the question. It was question. a hurricane. <laughs> hurricane. Sure, John Hall was there, everybody. Okay, back to a Paul Lynn question here. Paul, in giving advice to an aspiring female newscaster, Barbara Walters recently said, work as hard as you can, do what they tell you, and don't get in my way. <laughs> Barbara Walters, uh, just an aspiring female new... Now, work as hard as you can, do what they tell you, and don't get... Um, she certainly is, but I, I would say don't get aggressive. Don't get, become aggressive. I disagree. Pregnant. Uh, put an X there, 750 bucks. Thank All you. right. <laughs> Let's play the board, and Ruth Ann Crew to pick a star. Do you mind, Wilson? Say, D, uh, according to the psalm that begins, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want, what two things will follow you all the days of your life? Surely goodness and mercy will follow you all the days Ruth of your life. I agree. Hey, with a circle. Frank? Uh, Rosemary, please. Ro? Yes. During the Civil War, how many... Me I out to the ball oh, game. <laughs> Me out... Uh, Okay, now I can relax a bit. I kind of rush, at the last minute or two, I kind of rush everything because every question is worth a lot of money, and I just love to give all the money away here on the show. It's not mine. <laughs> <laughs> During the Civil War, how many states made up the Confederacy? During the Civil War? Uh-huh. You want it right on the nose, right? All right. Eleven. Eleven. I disagree. Eleven. Circle gets the square. All right. Hey, that is worth $50 extra for you. Ruth Ann, it's been one of those strange evenings where it looked like you would win much more than you did, but you've got $100 in cash. Thank you very and much. Party and gifts. very and nice we thank time. you very much for playing the thank Hollywood Square. It's been a terrific night for Frank and Matthew, I'll tell you that. And Secret Squares alone worth over $10,000.
$750 in cash, and you've won the car. So I guess this evening you've won uh, about $13,000 at least. In fact, probably it's Pontiac Smart Efficient Subcompact Astro with responsive four-cylinder all-new Pontiac built cast iron engine distinctive styling overhead cam three-speed floor shift Pontiac Astro. I'd like to thank our stars, Ross Kelly. Uh, hey, hey, happy days, and Rosemary Peter Grace. Nice to see you all. Doc Severinsen, the Tonight Show. We're running late. Have a good evening. See you here next time. Bye-bye. This has been a Merrill Heater, Bob Quigley Productions.